All right, first up is Tim in South Florida. He asks, who needs a win more to calm the fan base down on Saturday, Texas A&M or Miami? It's a great question. It's, I think, one of those where we are going to completely overreact to the outcome of this game. It just It's totally natural. It's totally expected. But look, given the state of the ACC right now, I think, look, I know that, that Mario has a long runway. I, I don't think he's in jeopardy. Look at how he's recruiting. Look at how already he's recruiting. Look at how they've already bolstered some of the NIL. Look how attractive it's been for a lot of players in the portal. So I think Miami is still in good shape. But if for whatever reason, A&M goes on the road to Miami and comes up short, and then you still have to look at the games that A&M has to play down the stretch. A&M still has a lot of losable games on the schedule. Now, will they ultimately lose all those games based on their week one performance? I think they're looking really good. I thought the Bobby Petrino, granted it's New Mexico. They went two and 10 last year, but the offensive line looks better. I thought Connor Wigman was getting the ball out of his hands really quickly. looked really comfortable in the RPOs. They obviously have great length at wide receiver. They have unbelievable talent on the perimeter. Defense thought they did some good things. So I think AM, if they lose this one, it will be, in some ways, it will feel like a backbreaker because you're five, six years into the rebuild. Miami's two years into the rebuild. AM at this point already expected to be contending. Miami even though most people thought, hey, Mario would wave the magic wand. I still think there's more to lose if you're AM at this point because you're just further along in your program development. 